What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of DC's Diabolis. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. And it appears as though it is Shift B's turn, well, Shift A's turn, to get in there and handle some policing business. Robin's still higher than Birdie Butt over here. You could tell. Just look at Robin's. Look at the, look at how red their eyes are. Just high as shit. Let's continue. On day 91, it appears as though nothing really happened. Singer Karen Sparkle arriving in Freeburg. Travel agent, the people of Freeburg are more likely to visit other countries. Police station is still kind of butthurt with us, so we should probably split our heroin money. Thief crushes ancient statue at museum. All right. Let's see how our bonuses are looking. So, I was up all night. No. Forgot to feed my fish. No. Other than that, looks good to me. Let's continue our noble work. I want this one. This one seems patriotic and happy. Let's go with this one right here. Fire in the brain. That's what I figure it sounds like. I'm going to guess. Starts with that Tom play, though. Your share for the automatic weapon. I'm going to take everything there. We got our rays. We got our detective slot. And we got to hire our detective right now. Okay, go with Robert Shero. He looks sharp. Let's see here. We got three on either shift, so it doesn't matter where we put him. I'll probably put him over here with Mole and Luckett. Let's see here. Mole and Luckett. So you will be on shift B, right? Yes, shift B. Then for our labor market, we actually have people that we can hire. Which means that my guess would be that we should probably get rid of a couple of people. City Hall request, okay. We've got another officer slot that should open up right after. Got two cop slots. I'll probably just hire down the line in all honesty. So on our personnel roster, you came into work drunk. Wait, who was it that came in drunk? Somebody came in drunk. And it was somebody who sucked at their job. I mean, obviously you suck at your job if you come in drunk. Either way, you're fired. Get the hell out of here. Then, let me take a look at my personnel list here. Shift B is pretty strong. It's actually, well, both shifts are actually pretty strong. Both have their new guys and their old guys. So we'll go shift A for you. We'll go shift A for you. And we'll go shift B for you. Looks good to me. And we'll focus on getting them trained up. Because we have so many people coming through, I may send some people to police training. An apparently intoxicated driver flew into the oncoming lane and crashed into a van, then crashed into five other vehicles. If he's flying, wouldn't he be a pilot? The drivers of the vehicles escaped with their lives, but jumped out of their cars and began to argue. A conflict ensued, and the situation is about to get ugly. I don't think you need that many officers, though. Like, what do you need that many officers for? I don't know. Send out the new guys or something with the paddy wagon. I mean, that one's kind of deep. That one's, like, way out there, so it'll probably be a bit till they get back. Although, I'm starting to get the feeling that it's standardized. Like, I feel like every call takes a, the same amount of time, which makes no sense. Like, it should really, these calls should be longer. These calls should be shorter, which means it would add an extra facet of complexity to the game where you got to decide who you want to send on a really long ride and who you want to send on a short one. But as far as I can tell, it seems to be about standard. An employee at the Inner House Hardware Store said that a suspicious man named Otis Adams ordered a very strange combination of objects which could be used to make explosives. Adams has a colorful police record, including a bomb threat. Alright, send some people out to investigate. It's probably not worth sending, like, SWAT and all kinds of other crazy shit after, but... Suspicious individual. Young teacher reported seeing the same suspicious white van parked near the school for several days in a row. When I walked towards it, it ran away. I'm afraid for our students. Send Peterson and Dixon. Everything's good there. Officers continue to get better. We might have a 1,000 point officer soon. That'd be so raw. Mitchell's what's up. Mitchell knows how to hold it down. Holds it down for the police fam. Man, this track is going right now. It's like the music they're always playing when you come through the front door at Disneyland. Gets you hype. You're like, oh, we're going to Space Mountain. Space Mountain. Going to do Space Mountain right now. Police approach the suspect's front door. It's a delivery from Inner House. 
A man in a chemical suit seeing the police rushes to a bedside table and, look, and looks for something. Uh, point a gun at him and tell him not to move. If he moves, blow his brains out. We've lost too many officers in this city. We got a Robocop this thing. Just anybody that gets in our way, just take them out. There was an assault at the Live Good Mini Market parking lot. Five teenagers asked a man for cigarettes, but he said they were too young. They jumped him, knocked him to the ground, and started kicking him with full force. Waitress Nicole Shelton saw what was going on and called the police. These guys are crazy. They will kill him. Send Mitchell. No, send. Yes, those three right there. That's who I want, because Mitchell could probably carry that one by himself. All we really need is more people. This one will be back up in just a minute. A thief attempted a little sleight of hand to relieve Sherry Miller of a diamond ring, but she immediately felt something was wrong and put the criminal in an excruciating Japanese finger hold. Son of a bitch is unconscious. You can come and arrest him now. Sounds easy enough. Send a couple cars out. Okay, one car. Unless it's a sedan. Then we could have like four officers, I guess. Some workers were squabbling during their lunch break discussing yesterday's football day when one of them became really irate and tried to drive over the others with a tractor. According to one eyewitness who had taken refuge inside the building, he's like a crazy man. We barely escaped. Send those two out since it's who we have. I mean, we appear to have everything on lock right now anyways. It's pretty rare that we fail a case anymore. The teens continue to beat an old man, ignoring the police car. The teenage thugs see the police. They start running in different directions. Nobody moves. Nobody gets shot. Pow! Nobody moves. Nobody gets shot. Pow! Nobody move. Nobody gets shot. Pow! Nobody move. Nobody get hurt. This is a stick up. Everybody get face down. Red gag the mouse so they can't make a sound. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I heard that song. The driver of the white van is a female courier parks near the school during the lunch hour. I have a stressful job and a horrible boss. When I watch the children laughing, it calms me down. Hey, it's no crime to watch children, I guess. At least not yet. Offender caught. Officers unharmed. There's a massive fight at the fountains. There's nobody to send to the massive fight. People at the fountain were just having fun. They're harmless Russian immigrants, though. They once served as paratroopers. For them, bathing as a fountain is a traditional thing for airborne troops to do. So, do I have any Russian airborne viewers? Any Russian airborne viewers that want to validate that one? Or is that just made-up bullshit? Do, do Russian airborne soldiers actually bathe in fountains? Unlawful assembly. A group of angry women came to protest the premiere of the action Hard-Boiled Women 2. They're demanding the cinema's management cancel the premiere. Situation is heating up. Should be good enough. We'll send the B squad out. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. You gotta send out the B squad. There was a rape in the suburbs. It's also a bomb threat. Janitor at City Hall calls about a suspicious man in the waiting room. He's twitching and looking sideways at everybody. I think he's a spy or a terrorist. He's all skinny, but he's got a really fat belly, and I think he's carrying a bomb. I don't think he's carrying a bomb. I get so many random, like, unfounded calls. It's ridiculous. Michael May saw a young girl running naked and bloody trying to climb over the fence of an expensive, man or an expensive mansion. She screamed and called for help. Then a man came out of the house, grabbed her by the hair, and dragged her inside. The neighbors were complaining just last week about all-night parties at the mansion, which is owned by some Saudi prince, Malik Kefia. Those Saudi princes do like to get themselves in trouble. Maybe I should send officers over. Oh, you Saudi princes. You and your wealthy shenanigans that nobody can prosecute you for because you're too rich. You own everything. Protesting women are pointing at movie posters with busty heroines and sexy poses shouting, Sexism is a disease in our society. One of the women steps forward and throws a stone at the cinema actor who is trying to go talk to the protesters. Arrest the woman who threw the stone. Be rough about it, too. Somebody throws a rock at me. They're definitely going to eat pavement a couple times before they get in the squad car. And this is why I couldn't be a cop. <laughs> Right there, I'd be like, yeah, you know, while I've got you face down on the ground and I've got you handcuffed, you're probably going to headbutt the curb a couple of times before I get you in the car. Oh, well, shouldn't have thrown a rock at me. And this is why I can't be trusted with responsibilities. This is why I make internet videos. At an armed robbery, two men in clown masks stormed into the auto show and demanded the keys for the most expensive cars on display. 
When the manager hesitated, the, dar Ooh, the robber shot him in the leg. One visitor at the event managed to break through a shop window and escape, at least for long enough to call the police. Send Mitchell, Robbins, Chovich, and Charleston. Trying to get people leveled up here. The bomb threat. I'm going to take my chances. Man was not carrying a bomb. He's just an ordinary citizen tired of waiting in line like everybody else. Good. I called it. Do I know how to pick him or do I know how to pick him? Multiple shots were reported coming from a nightclub. Send a couple people. I mean, it's a nightclub, so loud noises are to be expected. Detectives report. We got three new frames. Doesn't really matter because we need eight frames to even start. So we'll wait until we get framed up a little bit better. Can I add more people to this investigation? Like, do I have further detectives? I was going to say, I've got to have more detectives. Put Beasley on it. They'll work on it a little bit faster. This should be good enough. Extra 500 points to make things function. My cat is breaking something in the living room right now, and I can hear him doing it. I mean, I gave you guys the paddy wagon and SWAT, and SWAT's been upgraded a bunch of times, so normally... Oh my god, he's up over a thousand right now. That's crazy. Although, since I've been taking Robbins and Chovich to everything, they've leveled up pretty nicely as well. At the Masquerade Club, the employees and visitors wear masks and costumes. People outside are dancing quietly, but there's a sound of claps coming from further inside. Come to the second floor and get a better view. Music stops and shots ring out. The dancers start to stampede. A guy in a hockey mask flashes a gun and pushes over the girl in the squirrel suit. Shoot him. Runs out to the street, gets his car, continues shooting at the police. Open fire on him already. We already talked about this. Good Lord, how many times are you going to let somebody shoot at you before you just blap his ass? Let him have it. Make him spray some ketchup on the pavement and find out. I don't play that shit in my department. My priests think we take lives. We roll up in here. We take scalps, son. We'd be out here like, ooh, boo, boo. Hell on Wheels dealership invites public to show your sports cars. Sport commerce increased 60%. Ecology's urban air pollution levels normal. Police station is still butthurt with me, so we'll have to get on that. They want me to split my heroin money with them. I can virtually guarantee you. I'm too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Can I go home? It's your first day, man. Oof. Yes, go home. Oh, we got a commendation, so we can bring somebody else up to speed, too. Let's make Numata better at stuff so that she can lead investigations and whatnot, too. Yeah, I don't know how Gibbons ended up more promoted than her. Gibbons might have started with two stripes, and I might have just given her three so that she'd be really, really good at administrating. So everybody's here. Hidaka, Murata, and Matsa. Okay. This one looks like it has spilt Pepto-Bismol on it, so let's go ahead and listen to that. A mission from God. Mr. Boyd, I don't know if you came to Mass, but if you do, or if you come to Mass, you may know that our most enlightened and progressive parishioners donate absurd sums of money to curry the favor of God's blessed powder. Truly, this powder is manna from the heavens which clears the mind in preparation for the coming of the Antichrist. Unfortunately, some of our flock have been turned from the house of the Lord, for outside, the enemies of Jesus sell them fake satanic powder, and they're undercutting our God-blessed prices. It would be a great thing if somewhere to get rid of them, as our Lord Jesus drove the merchants from the house of God. That's a lot of people, though, that have to be sent over for this. I mean, I guess I'll send some people over. So there's the heroin. We'll split that with the staff. We'll take everything on that one. Snitch got paid $500. Half of our force is running down an errand, apparently, for the local... Let's see, vehicular accident. A drunk driver drove his van into a bus stop, knocking over several people. The van stalled out. Now the unsteady driver is clumsily trying to escape. Probably shouldn't need more than two guys for that. I was where we were going to run out of space, but it looks like it makes the cards smaller. we got plenty of officers. We're doing a great job right now as far as the game is concerned. We recovered from that one rough patch far better than I expected. we got a theft in the suburbs. Retiree Frank Setter complains that someone stole his lawn. Like clockwork, once a month somebody comes by to cut up my gorgeous lawn and cart it off. I never managed to catch the enemy to fertile grass or I've shown him. I'm a veteran, you know. I've got hundreds of enemies or enemies in their graves, and I just want some peace and quiet. Enough for Puka Rica. What? Stop being a wuss. It's an old man. 
Mr. Boyd, I see you do not wish to delay the arrival of the answer Christ any more than I do. After all, he cannot be arrested or put in jail. Henceforth, any of our church services are available to you at reduced rates. Please accept from me the Bishop of Freeburg. This sum of money is a personal gift. Oh, $75. whoop de doo So what does the church do? Bless the police station. Police funeral. Personally delivered the eulogy for a fallen police department employees. A prayer for Jack's family. Sermon for employees. Touch of the relics. Policeman funeral by phone. Forgiveness of sins. Don't they normally just do that free of charge? Confession seems like one of those things that you just get for being a member. How long do I have until my next okay? I'm pretty happy with the way things have gone so far. $75 is kind of a whack reward, though, for sending over five officers to rough up a bunch of heroin dealers. Or cocaine dealers, or whatever they were. You know, the game becomes kind of... The market district is seeing increased cases of pickpocket, and the media is up in arms about it. Send two cops to increase the perception of police protection. There are journalists scurrying about. That's all I got, but at least this time when they popped it on me, I didn't have to worry about it too much. It'd be a lot worse if they popped it on me and I didn't have time. The lawn at the location is cut by a neighborhood boy at the request, Mr. Setter. I thought they meant with like a... I thought they meant with like an edging knife. He was like cutting chunks of sod out or something when they said cutting. I didn't think they meant like mowing the lawn. It seemed like somebody would call the police for that. A massive fight. An employee of the shopping center was dressed in a tomato costume to advertise a new tomato paste. He accidentally frightened professional boxer Joshua Drake, who shouted and jumped on him and started pummeling him with full force. Passersby tried to separate them, but they received the boxer's fury and a massive fight broke out. Uh, send some of the newbies. Make them go learn something. Hopefully Gibbons and Song come back soon. I don't know how long it takes to sit there and, like, babysit a pickpocket place, but hopefully not that long. At a vehicular accident, the driver of a luxurious white Cadillac ran over a black teenager then attempted to flee the scene but lost control. Drove into a column. Angry residents in the area have come out to the street. Yeah, I could see that being a problem. The paddy wagon's on the way out. Eh, I don't know if it'll get here in time. I think I'll just send him out now. Hope for the best. Massive fight should be handled. Hidaka and Matza. I need to get Matza up to 200 as quickly as possible. We've got a terror threat at the post office. That actually seems like... If you've ever waited in line at the post office, I could see why somebody would be angry at the post office. Like, why is this taking so long? Good lord, look at the envelope. Look at where it goes. Stick it in slot. Two men are pulling a woman with bloody head out of the Cadillac. The crowd isn't letting them get her to the hospital, and some are yelling that the cops have failed. We'll deal with this by the law of the streets. Get ready to strike. They throw bottles and stones. Hide behind riot shields, push them back. I mean, I'd say open fire on the crowd, but I don't know if I feel like being particularly vicious today. Ooh, a postal employee reported that a letter was discovered with the powder inside. A description of the envelope reads... Burn in hell. Employees afraid the envelope contains a deadly disease. Oh my god, we're all gonna die and today is my birthday. Happy birthday to you. There's nothing in there. It was the girl's friends playing a prank on her birthday. That's quite a prank right there. I don't know. You might want to get some new friends if they're sending you letters that say burn in hell with strange powders inside of them. Homicide. A man wearing a night costume carrying a huge sword entered the cafe, placed an order, and sat silently in the corner for a couple of hours. Everyone stopped paying attention at this point. Then he stood up, took up his sword, and began swinging it with all of his strength. He's inflicted severe injuries on several patrons of the restaurant. Let me go arrest the guy with the long sword. See, this is why I hate city hall requests. City hall requests always make it so that you got people locked down like all day. Disorderly conduct, theft. Said his neighbor Derek Rewers asked him to watch his farm while he went on vacation with his family. Meanwhile, some strange people went over there with a tractor trying to steal the harvest. About a dozen people, and they're robbing my friend blind. Alright, send a couple of cops out. Hopefully we have time to respond to this one. Nobody to come to the homicide. If I can get a few officers back to the precinct. 
in the next couple seconds, we should be fine, and we'll be able to send them out to the disorderly conduct call. We're actually almost out of here for the day. It's only 9 o'clock, but... There it is. Disorderly conduct. There's a huge clown running around the mall. Tried to scare me to death, said unemployed John Hawkinsmith. I got a disease. Got to know from the doctor. Clown, I got no right to scare me. I don't know. Send a couple of the newbies over. I have trouble buying this one. Seeing the police, the suspects begin to argue and shout in an unknown language. Then two women manage to escape and hide somewhere on the farm. Carefully search. I wonder if we're going to get off early today, Giggity. Nope. Christopher G. Sands Ice Arena. Legendary singer Gennaro Gennaro Crespo was giving a performance. Someone threw a large ear of corn at the musician and smashed his head. Despite a bit of blood, he showed no concern, just laughed it off and got ready to continue. Never mind, and never less. The concert organizers were furious and demanded that everyone turn in their cameras. We can't let the audience leave until the offender has been detained, they shouted to the police line. Got a crowd here, so send everybody you have available so we can get this done. I'll give it a minute. I don't really care that much. It doesn't seem that pertinent. Guy got hit with an ear of corn. I mean, obviously it's a crime or whatever, but I have trouble being convinced that I should send over like everybody I have for something like that. Clown was hired to promote the child's oh, there's children amusements park and has every right to be in the mall. Well, we still investigate. We still investigate. Bomb threats? Hell no. Random clown walking around the mall? Get him right now. We all float down here. Is that it for the day we done? We gotta be close. Cool. Officers leveled up and it's another day in the life. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of DC's Police. I will see you all in future episodes. Whoop. Bye everybody.